Okay, so how do I begin this? Last couple of days I've been looking on Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube to find some patterns or a little bit of inspiration uh, for, for myself because, well, I, I'm kind of bored and I need, I need a little bit of a challenge. But what I noticed is there's a lot of videos out there that say they're for beginners. And the unfortunate part about it is, is that the majority of them aren't. The tutorials are all over the place. And don't get me wrong, there's some great tutorials. Nastasia, amazing woman. Amazing with her tutorials. And she'll take you step by step by step. But for myself, when I'm looking to see if I can maybe break down a pattern for a beginner or even for myself, uh, it's really, really tough to find anything out there. So what I'd like to do in this video is I'd like to show some of you beginners uh, <laughs> what beginner projects are and how to start and to realize it's not something you're going to learn overnight because I've been doing this for 44 plus years and I'm still learning. I'm not nearly as fast as some, but I'm faster than others. So what I'd like to start with is your tools. The majority of your tools will be this one right here. Yes, I've got everything over here, but we're going to pull it in as we go. This is what we call a hook. It's a five millimeter H or eight. Now, each one of those is something a little different. Um, I guess terminology, and that's a big thing too. If you don't understand the terminology, you're not going to get very far. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to just put everything away. So don't jump right into it. Majority of your projects will be a five millimeter hook. And the majority of your projects will use a worsted weight yarn, uh, which I have right here. And I've already started a project and this is definitely not beginner friendly, but this is worsted weight yarn. As if you can, if you can see, if you can tell, it's not, well, not really. Okay, we're moving on. This is a beginner project right here. It's a dishcloth. It's in the square. It's got double crochets. Uh, it's got chains, slip stitch, slip knot, all that happy jazz. And that, that's something that you can learn in the future. Um, hopefully off my channel, but maybe not. Of course, scissors. What's to explain? They're scissors. You also need tapestry needles. Now I have several different kinds here. I've got ones with a um, swooped tip. That's to get in between stitches. I've got larger ones, depending on whether or not it's a thicker yarn. Smaller ones for smaller embellishments, larger ones for larger embellishments. Uh, you know, there is so much to it and it's very overwhelming. So let's take a break, drink some coffee. <laughs> okay, break over. Here's another beginner project. Yes, I know, I know. It's just a stove towel. But it's really simple and it's really easy. You just need a button, tapestry, some worsted weight yarn, and as you notice, I've got two different colors here. I was using up my scrap yarn. That's another thing. So I'd like to show you what's not a beginner. This, it is a festival vest. It's done in the round. And some of the terminology, we've got fringe. Like I said, we are working in the round not in the square, like the dishcloth. 
Now you can see the difference, dishcloth and fay vest. See how uh, elaborate the difference is? So when you're looking for patterns and things like that, and it says beginner on it, and it doesn't look beginner, that's a warning. Moving on. This is something that I picked up at a garage sale. I think it was two and a half bucks, three bucks, but they're pretty expensive off of Amazon. And it's, it's a crochet kit. These are excellent for beginners, as long as you know your first stages of terminology. Excellent, they have the book, they have crochet techniques, and most of the time they have everything in there, but I picked this up at a garage sale. There's a few things missing, glad I'm seasoned because I've got the rest of it, so it's not a problem. Another tool, the ruler. Ruler or a tape measure. Tape measure is great. A ruler is great, especially if you're only doing, like I said, a dishcloth, because then you can measure if it's 9 by 9 or 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. It doesn't matter. You're also going to have different kinds of hooks. This one's a 7 millimeter, and this one I do believe is a 3 millimeter. So the size difference is really, really, really important, especially if you're doing... Um, specific projects. It also coincides with what type of yarn you're going to be using. Again, not a beginner project. This is made with blanket yarn. Blanket yarn is very, very difficult to work with. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I had some, so I used it, and I made a little monkey out of them, and got the tail and everything else like that, but this is definitely not a beginner pattern, not friendly at all. Moving on, there's also the frustration of when you finally get to that point, and you're, you're just, you're loving life, and you, you finish that project that you've been working a month on, and then this happens. You've got yarn ends that are coming out. And your yarn has definitely moved away from itself. And you can see all the stuffing. So you've put hours and hours and hours of work into this. And it doesn't look like it's supposed to. Especially when you got the pattern. You spent your five bucks on it. And now it looks nothing like the picture in the pattern. Your yarn is shrunk, you've used the same, everything else like that. So be aware of that. But this is what happens when things work out. You get one of these little guys. There's no stuffing showing. You got your little feeties and it looks great and it kind of sort of looks like it. Oh, oh, we got an end there. See, end is gone. We'll go through some of these later on and we'll try and make it so that the beginners absolutely can understand patterns. And that's a big thing too. I, I've looked at some of these patterns and easy stitch for a beginner. Well, when you have to wrap the yarn around your hook 15 times in order to make a half a stitch and then 14 times to in each one of the loops, that's not a beginner stitch. That's not a beginner stitch. Granny square, double crochet, beginner stitch. Clothing, not beginner friendly because it's different. It's, it's a whole other animal. And when I'm talking about your different sizes of hooks, this one was made with a 5.5 millimeter hook, and it's just big enough to fit me. Now, the bigger your hook size, the bigger the project. And again, if you're going to use, if you're going to use a 7 millimeter hook with worsted weight yarn, you're going to have a huge project. 
if you use a three millimeter hook with blanket yarn, you won't be able to, but example, you're going to have something that's really, really, really tiny. Now, here's also some other things like this is your, your blanket yarn. It's really thick. It's kind of hard and it sticks to itself. So if you're a beginner, this is not for you. You want to use a crochet cotton with the dishcloth. No Goomba, you watch my coffee. It's the dog. And, oh, I'm looking here. Oh, right. So I've started a few projects, if you can see. This is working in the round. And when we're done with this, it will eventually be a turtle. And he's only got one eye. <laughs> it's only got one eye because I have ran out of blue. That's another thing. If you want to do toys, there's so many things that you have to do and you have to learn and terminology, decrease, increase, uh, technique, working in the round, your safety eyes, um, how to sew things on, how to pin things on if you're more of a pinner than a fly by the seat of your knife, eyes, you know, what have you. Um, there are safety noses, uh, safety, already said safety eyes. <laughs> um, so many different things that can overwhelm you. So what I would like is to see a lot of these people that are doing tutorials for beginners, that they're actually for beginners. Because I, I, I can't see anybody starting brand new and building a cardigan, right? Like this cardigan right here, you go like this. And I mean, it's big enough to fit somebody who's three extra large. But for me, it's nice and it's cozy and it's comfy. But this, for me, for a seasoned crocheter, took me six hours per panel. There's two panels, so that's 12 hours. Another three hours to put it together. Uh, then there's the wash, the dry, so that's another two hours. And putting hiding ends after that, 20, mi 20 minutes, 30 minutes, something along those lines. And that was for me. So I can't even imagine if somebody who is just learning how to crochet throws themselves in the deep end for a cardigan. You'll get there. I know you will. But let's just put it into perspective. Before you get your speed, your technique, and your tension down, you will not get this done. It'll get frustrating and you will put it aside and it'll sit there for a year, three years, five years until you pick it up again. There's lots of other things too. Don't expect to have a project done, such as a ditch cloth, in 20 minutes until you get your technique down. Technique, tension, then speed. That's the way that it goes. You get your technique, how you hold your hook. If you're left-handed, if you're right-handed, if you go backwards, if you are a tight crocheter, if you're a loose crocheter, it, it, there's so much to it. So guys, be aware when you are looking at tutorials for beginners, make sure they're actual tutorials for beginners or you will get frustrated.